Hey, Jeremiah here, and I'm going to try and answer one of the toughest questions, one of the most common questions I get. What is the Omega ITGX dance pad? Well, quick answer is that's it right there. And so is this. And so is this one. Different skins. And this one, too. ITGX. Here's uh, another one. Omega ITGX. And here's one I put on the floor. An Omega ITGX dance pad. So questions are, um, what's the difference? Which one do I prefer? Well, I mostly play on my GX dance pads, and I'm used to the cobalt fluxes, so I'm used to the entirely flat surface. So I actually prefer my Omega GX dance pad, although these feel really good to play on, so it's it's like a 4951. I barely prefer, but I like them both. They're really good. I would not be upset if I had a ITGX dance pad. I would not regret the purchase, but I also wouldn't regret if I had a GX, which I do. So I've laid out some boards to show what the difference is. On an ITGX dance pad, we have these boards inside the pad. They prevent the, they keep the arrow, or they keep the sections of the dance pad that are not the sensors from being pressed down, because this is the same height as a sensor, it stays flush. So when I put all these boards in here, and th there's not a gap between it. Like if you step here, it's not going to give on the ITGX. It, that's a perfect, you step anywhere except the arrow and you don't, you don't feel anything. So these are inside the dance pad and also the brackets. On these pads you can step on the brackets and it w registers. And people were concerned that it's too sensitive. So on the ITGX you cannot. So it feels flush and the only thing that depresses are the arrows. It's really hard to show. That's why I haven't done a video yet. Like this gives and you know this gives and they give the same amount. I push here, I push here, it makes the pad feel flat and I like it that way. I don't mind that it's flat. I mean, you know, you can feel where you're at. You feel this is between the arrows. So, I'm fine with that. But then on the ITGX dance pad with the boards inside and I use um, Gorilla Glue so they don't move. So, I can probably show you. I don't think I've ever opened up a dance pad to show anybody. So there we go. We got the. B and don't try and open your dance pad at home, because I mean you could, you can get. I made it seem easy, but other parts of the dance pad are not so easy. There's wires that run all over the pad, and if you pull one of those out, so this is it. It doesn't move. This board is nice and firm and it makes the pad feel flat. So the only part that gives is the arrow and not this part. So if I step anywhere except the arrow, it feels sturdy and right here is not playable. So it should appeal to people that are uh, used to playing on arcade machines, especially ITG arcade machines since it's not DDR arcade machines are a little bit more recessed. These are not recessed pads, they're completely flat. It just feels recessed because this is the only part that gives. So I hope that explains it. ITGX. Peace out.